This is Cruise News Today with Doug Parker. Good morning. <clears throat> wow. Good morning. Here's your cruise news for Tuesday, November 7th. Well, it's a slow boat to Mexico. Carnival Panorama is experiencing issues with its cruising speed and will only make one port call during its current sailing. A letter from the captain told guests on board, regrettably, due to the reduced speed, we will not be able to visit Puerto Vallarta and Mazatlan. It went on to read, however, we will be able to call on Cabo San Lucas on Wednesday before returning to Long Beach Saturday. The journey from Cabo to Southern California is approximately 1,000 miles. Now, guests are receiving $400 per stateroom as onboard credit. Carnival Panorama sails year-round out of Long Beach, California on seven-night Mexican Riviera sailings. It'll be entering dry dock next August. And Celebrity Cruises has introduced the Celebrity Pass. Yeah, an optional VIP upgrade for guests offering enhanced benefits such as priority boarding, a special welcome aboard lunch, upgraded Wi-Fi for two devices, waived room service fees, priority tendering. This will set you back $32.99 per day, and it's akin to Royal Caribbean, the sister brand, their key pass or carnivals faster to the fun. And Princess Cruises is back in Texas for the winter season. Regal Princess started sailing from Galveston, Texas, which is the largest princess ship to ever be based there. Celebrations included a plaque exchange and local performances, along with remarks about the 20-year history that Princess has with Texas. Now, the Regal Princess will sail 21 voyages to the Caribbean through next March and expects to bring 75,000 passengers through the port. And cruise line stocks were down on Monday. Carnival Corporation down 2.3%, 12.26. Royal Caribbean down 2%, 90.44. And Norwegian down 5, 13.11. If you have a lead on a story, you can send it our way. Tips at cruiseradio.net. Have yourself a great Tuesday. I'm Doug Parker with Cruise News Today.